Christmas, as we know it today, is filled with joy, family gatherings, and gift giving. But have you ever wondered if this holiday has deeper roots stretching far back into ancient Rome? Some believe that the Roman festival of Saturnalia is the true origin of Christmas. Although Christmas is widely celebrated today as the birth of Jesus Christ, many historians suggest that the choice of December 25th may not be purely based on Christian tradition. Instead, it may have been a strategic date selected to align with pre-existing pagan festivities like Saturnalia. As we begin our exploration, it's important to remember that Christmas is a blend of religious, cultural and historical influences. The festival of Saturnalia was one of the most popular and beloved holidays in the Roman calendar, celebrated by rich and poor alike. Its traditions, some remarkably similar to those of modern Christmas, offer intriguing clues about the ancient origins of this holiday. Over the next several scenes, we'll peel back the layers of history to examine the real connections between these two celebrations. Saturnalia, held in honor of the god Saturn, took place in December, a time later, chosen by Christians for the celebration of Christmas. Many Saturnalian customs, such as gift-giving and feasting, were incorporated into early Christmas celebrations. Saturnalia was one of the most popular festivals in ancient Rome, celebrated annually from December 17th to December 23rd. The holiday was in honor of Saturn, the god of agriculture, and was meant to commemorate the end of the autumn planting season. During this week-long festival, Roman society experienced a remarkable shift. Masters served their slaves, gambling was permitted, and the usual social norms were turned upside down. People wore bright clothing, adorned their homes with evergreen decorations and exchanged small gifts like wax candles and clay figurines known as sigillaria. At its heart, Saturnalia was a time of communal celebration and relaxation. Schools were closed, courts were adjourned and business came to a halt. For the people of Rome, this was a rare break from the demands of daily life, offering both a release from societal pressures and an opportunity for a sense of equality. Even slaves, who were often mistreated in Roman society, were temporarily granted more freedom during this festival, eating at the same table as their masters. Moreover, Saturnalia was marked by a carefree attitude that encouraged laughter, playfulness and merrymaking, much like the atmosphere we associate with Christmas today. These parallels are no accident, as many of the joyous traditions of Saturnalia found their way into early Christian celebrations. During Saturnalia, homes were decorated with wreaths and greenery resembling the decorations we see during modern Christmas celebrations. As Christianity spread across the Roman Empire, early Christian leaders faced the challenge of converting a population deeply entrenched in pagan traditions. One way to facilitate the conversion was to place Christian holidays on or near existing pagan festivals. By doing this, new Christian converts could adopt their new religion while still keeping some familiar elements of their old traditions. This tactic not only helped Christianity gain widespread acceptance, but also allowed for a smoother transition from paganism to Christianity. For example, the Christian observance of Easter was timed to coincide with the Jewish Passover, and many scholars believe Christmas was similarly placed near the time of Saturnalia to draw in more converts. The Christian leaders understood that blending Christian beliefs with familiar customs would make it easier for pagans to transition to the new faith. This practice of syncretism allowed Christianity to absorb and transform elements of various cultures, ensuring its survival and growth throughout the Roman Empire and beyond. Over time, this blending of traditions gave rise to holidays that feel both ancient and modern, reflecting centuries of cultural evolution. As we'll see, Saturnalia played an essential role in shaping the early Christian celebration of Christmas. By the 4th century, Christmas was officially established on December 25th, during a time when several pagan festivals including Saturnalia and the Feast of Sol Invictus were celebrated. The choice of December 25th for Christmas has long been debated by historians and theologians. While the Bible does not provide a specific date for the birth of Jesus, early Christians had to decide on a date to celebrate the event. One popular theory suggests that December 25th was chosen to coincide with the winter solstice and various pagan festivals, making it easier for Roman pagans to accept Christianity. 
But there's another layer of symbolism in the selection of this date. Some early Christians believed that the world was created on March 25th, a date that also came to represent the Annunciation, when the angel Gabriel told Mary that she would give birth to Jesus. Based on this timeline, Jesus' birth was placed exactly nine months later, on December 25th. This idea of cosmic harmony was appealing to early Christian thinkers, who saw symmetry in celebrating the incarnation of Jesus at the darkest time of the year symbolizing the light of the world being born into darkness. By aligning Christmas with the winter solstice, early Christians also connected the birth of Christ with the natural world's rebirth as the days began to grow longer. The parallels between light returning to the world both physically and spiritually are central to understanding why December 25th became such a significant date in the Christian calendar. Correlating fact, the Roman Emperor Aurelian declared December 25th the birthday of Sol Invictus, the unconquered sun in 274 AD. This festival celebrated the return of longer days after the winter solstice. As the Roman Empire gradually embraced Christianity, the popularity of Saturnalia began to fade. However, many of its traditions didn't disappear entirely. Instead, they were adapted and incorporated into Christian celebrations, especially Christmas. Feasts, gift-giving, and even the symbolic decorations of evergreens found new life in the Christian context. Over time, the distinctly pagan roots of these customs faded as they were absorbed into the fabric of Christian worship. The Roman Empire's conversion to Christianity didn't happen overnight, and many Roman citizens continued to celebrate Saturnalia long after the official adoption of Christianity. In response, church leaders took a pragmatic approach, allowing certain customs to remain but reinterpreting their significance. The feast that once honoured Saturn, the god of agriculture, now honoured the birth of Christ. In doing so, the church was able to preserve the spirit of communal celebration and generosity while giving these practices a Christian context. This evolution demonstrates how cultural and religious practices are never static. Instead, they change and adapt to new contexts, often retaining echoes of their original forms. Correlating fact. Christmas celebrations as we know them today are a mixture of Christian theology and pagan customs, including the feasts and gift-giving traditions borrowed from Saturnalia.